What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford says this. He says, quote, I love this energy with the hand clapped emojis. Keep it up. I'm going to smash you. Then I'm coming for your cheerleader at Twin Charlo. That's if he wins next. Wow. <laughs> and as you guys can see, you have uh, Errol Spence in the supermarket with his straps in the buggy and his list. Kel Brook, check. Sean Porter, check. Your Dennis Ugas, check. And then Terrence Bud Crawford, unchecked. And this is actually Terrence Crawford responding to this emoji because this is originally Errol Spence's emoji. I'm just smashing them on all in one because I still have so many videos to get out to you guys. So let's do a two for one special. Why not? So we have Errol Spence making emojis. Errol Spence making promises. Errol Spence is trainer, coach, talking shit like taking the credibility from Terrence Crawford naturally. Then we have Terrence Crawford awakening, reviving, resurrecting his energy to fight because it's like, yo, I've been wanting to fight you for a while. I came to you face to face and told you I wanted to fight you. And what was the answer? What happened? Everybody knew what happened. I fight Sean Port. I fight Keith Thurman. I fight maybe Danny Garcia and Manny Pacquiao. Right? He didn't say me, huh? Well, no, he didn't. <laughs> right and like you guys saw the clip that's exactly what happened when Terrence Crawford confronted Errol Spence and we had we heard nothing we had we had one more kind of spat little buzz around the idea of them fighting and them actually talking and that was over social media and yada 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 but of course this was like the shot before the Sean Porter fight I mean Errol Spence fighting Sean Porter, which was what? Let's see, what when was that? I'm wondering here. When did Sean Porter take on Errol Spence? September 28th, 2019, according to some information I found. September 28th, 2019. That is going on three years ago. Mm. So that was over three years ago when they had that confrontation. Because I remember when it happened very, very well. Okay, so now... That Errol Spence has took in and you know took it to Ugas, took him out. <laughs> um, now we're getting this back and forth, back and forth. And it's strange to me, people, okay, how Errol Spence is now all of a sudden having all this fucking energy. You know, yeah, it's the last belt, yada, 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 but you know, the way he smashed Ugas, even though Ugas hurt him. But the way he smashed Ugas, it's like, okay, Ugas is, you know, he's on your side of the street. So, I mean, it didn't really have to be in that order. See, Errol Spence is claiming that, hey, I had to get rid of Ugas first. Maybe he did. Maybe Al Heyman was like, no, you're fighting Ugas first because if Ugas beats you, we're going to fight. We're going to go for uh, all the marbles, all, offer him more money, which we know he will take, and then do it again and see if you improve. That's what could happen, but, you know, I, I'm not sure. But nonetheless, none of that matters at this point because Errol Spence has been calling out, again, dropping memes to Terrence Crawford about Terrence Crawford that, hey, I'm going to check you off my list. <laughs> right? So this is great. I mean, it's good news. And I like how Terrence Crawford responded. I'm going to whoop you and your fucking cheerleader. Jermel Charlo. Because, you know, Jermel has been talking a lot of shit about Terrence Crawford lately. And you think Terrence Crawford ain't heard that or found out that he was getting talked about by twin Charlo, Jermel? Right? Of course he has. People talk, even if he didn't see it, somebody that knew him did. 
and they sent it to him. Like, look at Jermel Charlo. Why is he talking about that? Oh, stay there. I'll smash you. I'll beat you up. You need to stay down there at 150. I mean, at 147. I'm at 154. I'm the big fish here. You know, you don't do it like that up in there in, the, in Nebraska. <laughs> right? And, you know, it's one of those things that's really setting Jermel up for a fight. Yeah. I mean, think about it. You're getting set up talking all that shit that's just the same if let's say old Alexander Usyk look like he what he did already you know he went and beat up Anthony Joshua and let's say that Deontay Wilder came back to the sport and Tyson Fury did actually retire what what other fight could happen White gets beat by Fury Fury retires Anthony Joshua we don't know what he will do he would probably go on to fight someone else and Deontay Wilder comes back and you still have Alexander Usyk. What fight could be made? Usyk Wilder, because those are the only people that really fought that didn't that did not lose, right? So that's exactly what Jermel's doing because everybody's talking about going and moving up. Daryl Spence is talking about moving up. Uh, Terence Crawford mentioned him moving up, and then you got. The person that's already up in the weight division, which is Jermel Charlo, talking about, oh, I will smash him and knock his ass out. He better stay where he's at. That's all a setup for a mega fight or another fight at 154, a different weight division, bringing light to that division because that division honestly been dark a long time, bro. Let's be real. 154 has been dark a very long time. 154 is becoming like 160. 160 was once the light once upon a time. Now it is not. Now 168 became where 160 was, right? Now 147 will be probably the new, uh, 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 will, will, will turn 154 into the old 147 until someone at 140 or somewhere else makes it bright and lights up that division again, you know, but it's cool to hear Terrence Crawford call out Ter uh, Errol, Errol Spence and his homeboy, both Derek James fighters that we all know Derek James does not like Terrence Crawford. I don't know why. Maybe he sees something in him. That's why he didn't really care and want Errol Spence to fight him. He was another one that didn't want that fight to happen. He claimed that Terrence Crawford fighting Errol Spence wouldn't sell like that fucking matter. Like, are, we, are you fucking an idiot? Yes, he is. If you're saying that that fight wouldn't sell. <laughs> That's just like saying Oscar De La Hoya and Felix Trinidad wouldn't sell. The fuck is that about? <laughs> but it's crazy, man. But I like the energy, too, from Terrence Crawford and Errol the Truth Spence. You guys tell me what you think about Crawford promising to smash Errol Spence and calling out Jermel Charlo for his trash talk. Tell me what you think again. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.